First of all, I don't want y'all to think this is staged or something. And y'all are literally the first people I'm telling. Like, for real, this is not staged, bro. If you haven't noticed, I don't have my watch on. I just came back from being out with y'all. <laughs> We went to the club and then we went to a party. Yeah. I was washing my hands and this nigga wanted to try on my watch real quick. I said, all right. He said, let me wear it. I said, all right. And he was gone. He was so gone. He took it back off. Yeah. He didn't tell me until like an hour later. Cause I was asking him, I said, oh, I asked him about an hour later. He said, oh bro, you still got my watch. And he said, no. Nah. I took it off and you know, he always fucks around. So I thought he was playing my shit. If y'all wonder why I'm eating, it's because I'm stressed, so I need to eat. It's like 5.30 a.m. right now. But, yeah, the story, he said, I said, bro, you got my watch. He said, nah. I took it off and put it down and you know like I said he plays all the time so I thought he was playing I said no it's not even funny you messing with me he said no I'm not playing he told him to put it on God so they put his hands out said I swear to God I don't have it no more he thought I was playing and that I actually that I actually had it I thought maybe I would be lucky. Cause you know she's pretty chill. Chilled with her before, so I, I was assuming she wouldn't be fake. And she would give it back. I said, oh, my friend left it. Actually left my watch at your party. I think I can stop by and get it. And then her, called her, all right, after I texted her, she answered the phone and said, <gasps> then she hung up, put up, left all my shit on open. And I said, oh, for real, I said, can I stop by and get my watch? Cause a friend left it there, or my brother left it there. And then she, she didn't open my shit anymore. She said she's going to Romania for a week too when we were talking to her before, or for a month. So the sad part is, I'm pretty sure she finessed my shit. Actually, I'm 100% sure. It's my heart just dropped when I answer the phone and she answered. The first thing she said is, <gasps> then she hung up the phone, just read the messages. And I know y'all, like, I know y'all never see me upset or anything or like this. Like, some of y'all see me where I'm kind of down in my videos. But, like, I've never been like this, bro. Like, it's just materialistic shit, you know? I'm not too worried about it. Because... <clears throat> 
it's my own fault for not noticing that he took it off. You know, like I saw him put it on and I didn't see that he took it off. And it's my fault for not asking sooner. So I just, I can only really beat myself up. Like, and the only, the only reason I'm upset is because it was like a 2000 euro watch, like $2,500 watch. And I had it for a while, like two years. And it actually meant a lot to me. So it was like one of the first things I ever bought and spent money on, you know. And I don't know. I just feel like, you know, I feel like I do so much good for people. I always, like, if I see a homeless person or something. I, know, I never tell anyone, but if I see a homeless person or something, I always give them money. 10 euro, like $15, and like euro to dollars, like 13, 15 dollars, sometimes two, four, six, eight. I was in Cali, gave some guy a fucking 20 and he started crying, gave him a little bit more money. And like I said, I usually don't tell people what I do because I don't want to be that one nigga that's like posting it on the internet. Yeah, I gave this guy $20. Yeah, I gave this guy $40. Yeah, I gave this lady 30. Yeah, I gave her 10, you know. It's just not like, you don't want to brag about that shit. I'm not bragging right now. I'm just telling y'all, for y'all that don't know, like, I'm a really good person. I'm a genuine person. And I don't know. It just kind of hurts that somebody you know and you've known for a while can easily take from you, steal from you, just because they know how much it's worth. Instead of giving it back when I call, they just hang up the phone right after they answer and go, <gasps> and then take my shit, and leave me on open, don't say anything after. Like, you know, it just kind of hurts. Like, now, like I said, I know it's my fault, but honestly, I don't think I'm gonna go out again for a while, bro. Like, that's, that's just really hit me. Like, I already have other problems in my life, and like I said, it's just materialistic, so I can't be too mad, you know? Money's money. I'm still alive. I can be happy for that. I'm blessed to be living the life I live out of these people that are poor and living on the streets, you know? So I'm blessed for that. But... It just hurts me the fact that it cost that much money and that girl knew how much it meant to me. And she's still gonna like pick it up, take it, hang up when I call to ask if I could please come back and get it because I knew exactly where it was. And she just goes MIA, never fucking talks again the rest of the night. Sorry for cursing y'all, but doesn't talk the rest of the night. <clears throat> and I don't know man Like I'm not editing this video at all, at all Or anything like This is all raw footage I just wanted to tell y'all Cause like I said I come to y'all first You guys You guys besides from my mom And my actual family You guys are my family I come to you I tell y'all when I have a problem Cause a very few of you I know I used to get a lot more views Now I don't Because I'm doing my own thing I'm not fucking uploading Shit that goes in the YouTube search bar, which I should be doing again, which I will start again. But if I see, like, I just want to let y'all know if I see a little de energized and shit, and like you see that I'm not in a good mood, y'all know why. Like, honestly, I think nobody would be in a good mood if they lost, or they didn't lose, if somebody stole their $2,500 watch that they worked really hard for, you know? It was, like, my first main thing. Like, if you people, like, you people that know me and I talk to, because, like I said, if you message me and you are my, like, you have me on YouTube or I will always try my best to message you back. I will always message all the people on YouTube back. I, 
message them back, comment them back. I FaceTime if they want to FaceTime. You know, I'm a really nice person. And y'all didn't know me. I work two jobs, basically three if you want to count YouTube because how much time it takes. So three jobs. I never ask anyone for anything, bro. Never. Never ask anyone for money. If I'm struggling, I'm struggling. I'm just, I'm going to find my way out of it myself. You know, I don't want to be that one person that asks for money or anything. But that's all, that's all I had to say today. I'm, I'm tired, bro. I just want to go to sleep and like wish it never happened, you know. But again, y'all, I'm really sorry. Just wanted to tell y'all what was going on. So you know, in future videos, why I seem kind of down. Like, honestly, it just makes me want to blow with the YouTube even more. Like, like I said, y'all day ones, you know this is my dream, bro. I love making you guys happy. I love making you guys smile. And being able, I don't care how many fucking views I get anymore. Like, used to get 6,000, 2,000, 3,000, 1,000. I don't care, bro. The fact that I can make a video talking about my life and making you guys smile, that's the shit that really hits me. Having people message me on Instagram or texting me on Snapchat saying I had a really bad day, but you made it better and you made me smile. That really touches me in the heart. Like, I'm, I'm no lie, I'm a sensitive person. Like, that touches me. It makes me want to keep doing what I'm doing. Improved, y'all. That not all YouTubers are the same, or not all people are the same. And that, <clears throat> and that point. But I'm pretty ugly right now, bro. Cause I'm like tired as hell and I'm kind of pressed. And I'm sorry if y'all can't really understand me. Because I'm not trying to be too loud because it's so late. It's like 6 in the morning right now. Or so, so early, I should say. Per se. But I don't want to leave y'all too here. I know a lot, a lot too long here. I know a lot of y'all probably only watch like 30 seconds, one minute, because you don't give a fuck. But you know what? This is for my day ones that will actually watch my shit all the way through. You know, I love you guys. You guys mean everything to me. Um, Riri, Ari, Natalie, um, Nayla, I think. I'm sorry, I forgot everyone's name. And there's a few other people. But I love y'all. Sorry for the way I look. It's like I said, it's really tired. I'm just, this makes me just really want to blow even more with the YouTube. Because I want to give my family and stuff a life that they haven't ever had, you know. I want to be able to give back to my family, give back to my people. You know. But. That's all I had to say. I love you, foreign family. And I'm out.